This is the moment where the glory of God invades your life. This is the moment where His mighty hand makes the difference in your life. Why the Bible says the entrance of the world giveth light and understanding to the simple. And so divine light is coming right now. And understanding that makes the difference in your life is coming to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We have been reading from Matthew chapter number 7 for a while now and you know we are looking at exceptional glory revealed in 2018. Now the exceptional glory cannot be revealed except one is able to walk in the exceptional ways of the Lord. You cannot continue living the way others live and have something exceptional unfold in your life. You have to go beyond what others are doing. So the exceptional, the extraordinary will manifest in your life. Hallelujah. I sense the presence, the power of God coming your way right now. And when we receive the word of God, the word itself has the ability to transform our lives. And that's why scripture says the entrance of it is the entrance. As we hear right now, you'll receive divine understanding that will make the difference in your life today in Jesus' name. Now let's continue from where we stopped yesterday. We were talking about the fact that, you know, the Lord wants us to be conscious of the fact that they are false prophets and that they are completely different. Now, that when somebody is in Christ, the ways of that person makes, it, makes the difference. I mean, it's the difference that's revealed in that person's life. He said a good tree cannot produce bad fruit and a diseased tree cannot produce good fruit. And, you know, he was trying to use that to explain the difference between a false prophet and a true prophet. A true prophet produces good fruit. And that also speaks of the fruit of the Spirit of God. We're going to get to that maybe today or tomorrow. But, you know, looking at this right now, he's talking about something really serious. And I think we should get to it right now. You know, in Galatians chapter number 5, if you have your Bible, you can turn to Galatians 5. In Galatians chapter number 5, God spoke through the Apostle Paul and he brought to understanding uh, you know the difference between uh, the fruit of the Spirit and the fruit of the flesh or the works of the flesh and this is what he says in the book of Galatians chapter number 5 verse number 19 it says now the doings practices of the flesh are clear obvious they are immorality impurity indecency Hmm. idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, anger, ill temper, selfishness, divisions, dissensions, party spirit, factions, sects with particular opinion, heresies. Verse 21 says envy, drunkenness, carousing, hmm, and the like. I warn you beforehand, just as I did previously, that those who do such, such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit, see, now take note of that. Now these are the works of the flesh. Jesus says, those who do such things, they shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now, if you know somebody who claims to be a prophet of God, but these things we have just mentioned that Paul talked about by the leading of the Spirit of God as the works of the flesh, if you see somebody still walking in these things, it's amazing some of the things that we read looking at the Amplified Version, it's amazing that there are people who claim to be servants of God who still walk in these things. Now, the Bible is clear there. Let's go back to it again. Um, verse 21, and the light, I warn you beforehand, just as I did previously, that those who do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Take note of that, that those who do such things, 
Now, these people may make money for themselves. They may make name for themselves on earth. All right? But as touching the kingdom of God, Jesus said, they shall not inherit the kingdom of God. That's what we just read in the word of God. They shall not. And you know, Jesus talked about the same people in Matthew 7 that we're looking at. Is, you know, Jesus may declare that people like this will not enter. He said, on that day they will come and say, did, we did miracles in your name. We cast out demons in your name. We, we, we heal the sick in your name. And he said, I will say to them, depart from me. You workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Now that is the strongest part of it. He said, I will say unto them. Now, this is very, very serious. Now, it means that by just their activities, don't conclude that these men are the servants of God. No matter the miracle that is performed, mm, no matter how spectacular it looks, don't be deceived by that. I believe in miracles. We see miracles, you know, as we minister, you know, the word of God. Even through our songs, we see miracles. People are healed. But that is not enough proof. You know, Paul wrote in Galatians chapter number 5, you know, he said, those who do these things, they will not inherit the kingdom of God. And Jesus said similar thing in Matthew chapter number 7. He made it so clear. We're going to dwell more on that. But let's just read verse number Verse number 20 it says, Therefore you will fully know them by their fruit. Then verse 21 says, Not everyone who said to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Now take note of that. Jesus said, Not everyone who say unto me, Lord, Lord, no, will enter. You see, beloved, we want to enter. We don't, know, we don't want to waste our time here. You know, thinking that we are part of the kingdom of God and in actual reality we are not. If you find that in your pastor, somebody who claims to be a servant of God, if you see the manifestations of the works of the flesh that like we read from Galatians chapter number 5, beloved, run. Now, if you are manifesting that, just acknowledge that you are still a sinner and ask Jesus to come into your life. Acknowledge that he died for you on the cross of Calvary. Forsake your sinful ways. Yield your life to Jesus and let him have his way in your life. See, title does not take anyone to heaven. And the amount of time you come to church or spend in church does not take you to heaven. As long as those things are in you, scripture says you don't have a place in the kingdom of God. You will not inherit the kingdom of God. And I know you want to inherit the kingdom of God. And I pray for you this day, whatever is trying to make you comfortable in your sin, that the power of God will frustrate you today, that you will become so uncomfortable in your sins, dissatisfied in your sinful ways, you will stop covering them up and start crying out to God for, for, for deliverance, for salvation. And as you do that, I believe your life will never be the same today. As you cry out to God, whether you're doing it now in this broadcast or afterwards, as you cry out to God, I decree that the transformation will come. Your life will never be the same again. I pray the glory of God upon you, transformation of your life. I decree it is well with you as you do so. This week, you will walk in the righteousness of God and bring glory to you. His name. It's been a wonderful time. I am Ego Lewis Yegwebulu. See you tomorrow on the Glory Grand Devotion. God bless you.
worthy to be praised. 